Stephen McNally with the throw for Montrose. And it's a goal for the home side. Roy Young licks Margaret. Early choppy waters for Rangers on the Angus coast. And Roy Young savours the moment. He's not the only one. Stuart Gordon's team in front against Rangers. And what a simple goal. What a disappointing goal for Rangers to concede. It's a simple long throw into the box. No one else gets involved. Lloyd Young takes the gamble. Lee McCulloch has his hands up. He can't see for the sun. Lloyd Young doesn't care. It's a great run across the front of Lee McCulloch. Anticipates the ball coming to him. Catches him on the back foot. And it's 1-0 Montrose. Lloyd drops away from the scene of the crime. It's good play by Dean Sheenan's today. But what I'm saying is, as I've said already in Astroturf, it's hard to change direction. If you've made your way for a tackle, it's hard to pull out of it. Jonathan Crawford couldn't do that. Dean Sheenan's great movement of the ball, great feet. Jonathan Crawford comes through and gives away a free kick in a dangerous area. Kevin Kyle is up. Lee McCulloch's up. Chris Hegarty. Can they make this count? It's a wonderful save, Derek. He doesn't see it till late. He eventually sticks a little pace. He's the target man and takes a lot of pressure off McIntosh. It's Templeton. Goes down inside the box. And that's a penalty. And McNally had tried to deal with the threat. But an opportunity for Rangers to level batters. And he just gets himself caught the wrong side. I think when he's in behind you, like that, Derek, I don't think he can afford to make a tackle. He has to let him go. Let him get a shot away. Deal with that. As soon as you put a leg in, it's always going to be a penalty kick. And Lee McCulloch is going to get a chance for his 20th goal of the season to put Rangers level. Rangers have been under the caution the early going. But all eyes focused on Lee McCulloch. His 20th strike of the season. He finished with a bomb. And it is one apiece to the relief of the Rangers players and supporters. He certainly did. He will know that he played a little part in the Montrose goal. He didn't mark his man. He couldn't see the ball for the sun. But here's the moment. He steps up. Composure. You want your captain, your most experienced player. And he sends Sandy Wood the wrong way. And Rangers are level. You expect him now, Derek, to push on and really go and try and dominate the game from here. Lee McCulloch and his 215th match in Scottish League football. This was the incident that led to the penalty. Yeah, there's no doubt it's a penalty kick. I think he has to let him strike. A lovely piece of skill. The Rangers players now getting in each other's way. Shields, Kevin Kyle! Well, they were falling over each other to set up Kevin Kyle. Who found himself as free as a bird in the penalty area. And once McLeod and Shields had figured out who was going to take control of the situation... They found Kevin Kyle with a lovely little touch. And Kyle puts Rangers in front for the first time in the match. Shields doing enough to get Kyle in. And a third goal of the season for the Scotland International. I think Sandy Wood on that replay may... Shields making the run up front for Kai. Find Shields. Chance for Shields. 3 1. Quick fire salvo by Rangers. Looks as though it's put the game beyond Montrose now. It's a terrific breakaway. Hutton's ball releasing Mackay. And you always thought the Montrose defence was struggling. Watson sucked into the middle of the penalty area leaving Shields with all the time in the world to find the target and having scored against Montrose in the corresponding fixture at Ibrox in September he scores here at Lynx Park to put the game beyond them here might get another one here as well Nicely done. There is a shot and it's in the net. Well, how about that? Just when you think that Montrose are done. On comes the substitute, Craig McLean, and finds that.
to put Montrose back in it. Well, this has come out of absolutely nowhere. The setup by Leighton McIntosh, and what about that? Stunning finish with the outside of the right foot. That really does set up an interesting finish. It could get better for them. Off the bar by Gary Wood. What a chance for Montrose. Well, McIntosh is header. The effort by Wood over Alexins over the course of the 90 minutes. Winter into the area. The flick on. Maybe a chance here. Off the post. Can they put it in? No, they can't. Yet another opportunity for Montrose goes begging. And once again, it's a substitute that's causing the problems. Well, that was Scott Johnston's moment, and the woodwork has denied him. It's Carl Naismith wide, Barry Mackay, Ralph McNally, Mackay, great save, for for Crawford, Robert Crawford to finish it, off the post and in. Well, that's the difference, isn't it? Johnston at the other end could have gotten a point for Montrose his shot hit the post and stayed out Robert Crawford up at the other end for Rangers hits the post and goes in it's three points for Rangers at Lynx Park six games in a row in which they've won they're four points clear at the top of the Scottish third division wonderful run by Barry Mackay and the perseverance from Crawford makes it Montrose 2, Rangers 4 and once 